lovelies welcome back to my channel my name is Liz I post a lot of beauty related content here on my channel and today we are doing an unboxing of the Soya Sense uh, Mother Day Mother's Day collection I also have two new bars in here that are additional to Alison's collection since I last bought from her so yeah there's two new scents there's three Mother Day scents in here and I really cannot wait to get into this so basically what soy scents is is wax melts so you put them in a little burner like this so you'll put your wax melt on the top here you'll put a little candle in and then your room will just smell of that fragrance it's quite a safe way um, of like burning a smell in your room sometimes candles apparently can be dangerous I say apparently just because I've never had an incident with anything so yeah that's what a wax melt in is and if you don't know soy sense is owned by Alison and she literally has a passion for wax melts and you can definitely tell because they're the best wax melts I've ever had and I must admit I really love them so yeah definitely if you like any of these go and check out her information because it would be in the down bar she does have a little card that comes in her package as well which just looks like this then this is what the box looks like so once you open it you're greeted with a thank you message and then some tissue paper and it smells so good in here and let me get my phone because I want to explain the scents to you as well as show them to you okay I have found the descriptions so let's open up this little package this is what we're greeted with so far and I will pull out the first little bar so this is the pampering bliss now this says that it is an oriental fragrance opening with top notes of peach and apricot rest alongside luscious berries cool bergamot and juicy guava the heart emerges through a beautiful floral and harmony of peony lily of the valley and jasmine nestled amidst a sweet fond of vanilla caramel amber and sandalwood i feel like i can smell peach in this package already oh I can smell the sandalwood and I can smell the peach and the vanilla. That smells so nice. It smells like something I would wash my body with. And like, can you see it's like purple and like that turquoisey blue. That smells so good. This next heart is called Kia Royale. This is one of my favourite ones to look at just because it's like a peachy pink shade and I must admit that is my favourite colour, like that dusky pink on the end there, it's a bit berry toned. So yeah, let's open it up. She's proper shut these. Okay. Oh, no, I like this one better. I definitely like this smell. I feel like I would love to have a snack bar in this one. Here Royale is just like the cocktail. Oh shit, it's a cocktail. <laughs> Guys, it's a cocktail. <laughs> This fragrance opens with fresh green fig and red berries wrapped together with a cords of cassis, cassis, cassis and orchid apples. Lilies blossom to life along with this dusky pinky rose and jasmine all tied together with a string of golden vanilla pods. This definitely, I can imagine the cocktail that it would be. I've never heard of Kia Royale. I must admit, I just stick to the basics like sex on the beach and... Oh, is it passion fruit something something daiquiri I don't know oh the recent one that I really did love when I last went with the spoons was their bubble gum one cannot wait for spoons to open because I really need one of those bubble gum cocktails but it's got some like gold flakes in there as well this is my favorite my absolute favorite and the next one we have is cozy cashmere and I love how it's just like a pale pink with some grey on there because it's like a lot of people's bedrooms and homes are like pink and grey and it just reminds me of like relaxing and it's called cozy cashmere oh cozy cashmere and musk is it bad that I bought these for myself and not my mum oh it's weird this one smells like a man's perfume sorry I feel like I have to take the whole thing out just to show you what one looks like they are gigantic like absolutely massive It smells like something my partner would wear. Like one of those unisex perfumes. Let's see, let's see what's inside because there's something I can smell and I don't know what it is. 
And you know when I hear the word musk, I'm like, ugh. Because do you remember back in the day, Avon musks? My mum used to buy them and they used to be horrible. I feel like with this as well, you could cut it in half and use it. I feel like you could get two uses out of this. So this is a floral harmony of jasmine, violet and rose. All of this gently descends onto the warmth of saffron, woods, cashmere and a whisper of creamy vanilla. I love that everything has vanilla in because it's just my favourite scent. I don't know what it is. It smells like maybe something in the bathroom. Like really fresh that you would... I don't know why I keep thinking of the bathroom. I do love a good bath. It's absolutely stunning. But I must admit, Kia Royale is my favourite. And all three of these were for £6. Are you having a laugh? I would literally have paid £10 for three of those. I thought I paid £10 for three of those, to be fair. £6, that was, that's incredible. To be fair, when someone tells me a price and then I just transfer the money, I don't actually realise that what I've paid, if that makes sense. Okay, on to the two new flavours she's brought out. She has brought out Lady Gold, which is meant to be like Lady Million. I'm so ready for this because, fun fact, I never liked Lady Million growing up. And then my partner bought it for me a couple, maybe last year. And I started liking it. It's like, you do really grow with the scents that you like. So these snap bars, she does a tenner Tuesday where you get four for £10, I believe. Do check out her Instagram because there's always deals going on. It does. It smells like Lady Million. Oh my God, it really does. But it smells fresher. But it smells like Lady Million. And like, it's got gold stars and glitter all in it. Oh my God, this smells amazing. The next one we have is Persian Bazaar. This is what it looks like. It's a really nice, like, peachy, pinky, peachy pink. I don't know what kind of colour you would call that. I really don't. But let's see what it smells like. Ooh. That's different. That is a different smell that I have smelt from any of her wax melts. Wow. It is... Exquisitely warm and dusky, almost hypnotic, deliciously heady rose, ba bask oh my god, let me re let me try again. Persian Bazaar is exquisitely warm and dusky, almost hypnotic, deliciously heady rose, basking in the evening sunlight entangled with a clambering white jasmine encased in a soft bed of powdery musks. I get where the musks come in, but it's a very nice, sweet, musky smell. Not like, you know, when you used to go into your, like, grand's house and it used to be overpowering of musky. This is a very sweet smell. Almost like there's, like, a peachiness to it or a plumminess. Oh, I really like that. That was everything I bought from Soy Sense um, this month, I must admit, for Mother's Day. It smells so lovely around me right now. I just absolutely am in love with wax melts and really go and check out Alison's business because she puts a lot of heart into her business and I really do enjoy buying from her. Like I was so sad that there wasn't a Valentine's box because I messaged her and I was like, are you doing a Valentine's box? And sadly she didn't and I was like, oh damn. But then I was glad to see that there was a Mother's Day box. So I hope she does do this. Like we've had a Christmas box, a Halloween box. So I hope we have more future boxes coming from her because I absolutely love them. I love the different shapes. Like I really do enjoy these boxes. And then I love the snap bars. Like I will show you a little picture of my little collection in the corner. I have got quite a bit at the moment. Um... I feel like I haven't got enough. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, something different, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys.